Hello guys, this is Dabson Ishmael. Today we are going to take a look at how to create some kind of navigation whereby when we hover over the um, home section, it gives us some kind of information in a layer here. When we continue to the about us, it does same and when we continue to the services, we get some kind of information that is different from that of the about and the home. Now when we continue to contact, you realize we have some different information here. Now all these layers that shows are close. Uh, can be closed so when i hit on the close icon it closes it now when i hover and i sh i see the image which is be uh, contains some kind of um information that is i see this particular layer which is containing some kind of information i can go ahead and scroll and this still stays there it doesn't go away the same as when i come to the services it stays there the same as the contact and the same as the home now let's take a look at how to accomplish this in WYSIWYG web builder I'm going to go ahead and open my application. So I have my application open here and I'm going to go to the site manager. I'm going to create a page called master page. So I'm hitting on the site. I'll create a new page and I'm going to right click on this and just rename the page name to that is a master or mem let me just make it master page. Now I'll come to my toolbox and I'm going to look for the layer two. So let me just search for the layer two here. I click on it. I draw an empty space in the canvas. Now I'm going to change the height of this to 60 pixels and then the width is going to be 970 pixels. So let me just do that. I'll double click on this layer and I'm going to change the mode from default to docking. So I want this mode to stick to the top in my page. Now I'm going to change the docking mode from this to dock to top and I'm going to set the alignment to center. I'll go ahead and hit on OK. Now I'm going to come back to my toolbox. This time around, I'm going to look for the shape tool. So let me just look for shape. I click on it and I draw in my canvas. I'm going to change the size of this. So I'm going to make this 100 by 35 pixels. Go ahead and hit on enter. I'm going to double click on this and make sure I make the edge rounded edge. So I'm going to select the rounded edge and I'm going to reduce the size of the round edge to about six pixels. Now go ahead and hit on OK. Now I'm going to double click on this shape and I'm going to go to the text section. I'll first of all change the editor background to black so that I can see what I type. So I'm going to change this to home. So I'm going to type this in caps. Let me just hover over this and change the color of it to white. I'm going to change the size of it to about 10 pixels. Let me just enable anti-alias text. I'll go ahead and hit on OK. Now I have my home in here. Now move it into this particular layer. I'm going to copy this um, button I have here. So I'll select copy using Control V, paste it here. I'll paste it two more times. So I'll paste it here as well as paste it here. Now I'm going to select these four buttons I have here. So I'll select this, holding on the Shift key, select this and select this. Let me move them a little bit to the right hand side. Now I'll come to Arrange and select distribute horizontally to create equal spacing between them. Now I'll double click on this button and I'm going to go to the text section. I'm going to change this to services. I'll go ahead and hit on OK. Let me just change this to about us instead. So let me copy this. Come to test, copy this and change this to about about. Let me just make this about. I'll come to this particular button, I'm going to change that and make it services. Now I'm going to change the last one to contact. So let me change this to contact. I'll go ahead and hit on OK. Now I'm going to come back to my toolbox. This time around, I'm looking for a material icon. So I'll select the material icon. I'll draw here and I'm going to change the size of it to 40 by 40 pixels. I'll move this into this particular layer to about this position. I'll come back to my toolbox. This time around, I'm looking for the content placeholder. So I'm going to scroll to the layout section and uh, let me select my content placeholder. I'll draw that in here. Let me move it a little bit to the left hand side, expand the height of it, and then expand the width of it. I'm going to make a copy of this layer and paste it here. So let me just get rid of this buttons I have inside it. I'll go ahead and delete this one and delete this one. 
I'm going to change the color of this. So I'll go to style. I'll click on the color and then I'm going to change this to this black. So I'm going to go ahead and hit on OK. I'm going to change the mode from docking to default. So I'm going to select default and I'm going to check enable. Um, that is, I'm going to enable relative horizontal sizing so that this particular layer stretches to fill the entire width of my browser. I'll go ahead and hit on OK. I'll come to my two box. I'll look for the test tool. So I'll click on test. I'll draw in here. Double click on this and let me just put some kind of information here. So I'm going to type copyright information. Now highlight over this and then let me just change the color of it to white. Change the alignment to center. So I'll right click on it, select center and page and select horizontal. So that is it for my master page. Now I'm going to go to the index page, which is going to be my home page. And on the index page, I'm going to come to the block and I'm going to scroll through the block and select one of the sliders that is a carousel I have in here to be my first part or the first section of my block. So let me just scroll through to see what I can find in here. So let me keep scrolling. So I'm going to select this carousel. I'm going to move that in here. Now moving it here, I'm supposed to do some kind of configuration. So I'm going to double click on this carousel. And all I'm going to do is to change the full width. So it has full width and uh, floating as selected. Uh, that is not what I want. I just want full width. So I'm going to select full width. All I need to do is click on OK and I'm done with that section. Now I'm going to go ahead and come back to my toolbox. I'm going to look for the layer 2. So I'll select my layer. Let me just look for my layer. I'll click on it. Draw on an empty space on the canvas here. Now let me move this to the left hand side and expand the height of it a bit. Let me expand it more and change the width to 970 pixels. So now I'm going to come back to my toolbox. I'm going to select the text tool to populate this particular layer with some kind of information. So let me just move this a little bit to the left hand side. I'll go ahead and expand this. I'll double click on this. Highlight what I have here and I'm going to select about four paragraphs for this particular layer. So I'll make sure this is positioned in the center of this particular layer. So I'll right click on it, select horizontal and I'm going to make sure it is positioned vertically too. So that is it for the home section. I'm going to right click on an empty space, go to page properties and I'm going to go to miscellaneous so that I can select my master page I have created. So I'm going to go ahead and select my master page. I'll go ahead and hit on OK. Now let's go ahead and preview this page and see how it's going to look like in our browser. So I have hit on the F5. Let's see how it's going to look like. So as you can see, this is our page. Looks like we have some kind of info um, issue here. This is aligned to the left hand side. Now we will go back to our project and correct that. So double click on this. Let's set the alignment to center and that should correct that. Now let's go back and preview it again. So as you can see, we have that. Um, it looks like uh, the issue is from the master page instead. So let's come back to our project, come to the master page, right click on an empty space, go to page properties and set the page alignment to that is center um, horizontally. So this is going to be center horizontally. I'll go ahead and hit on OK. Now let me come back to my index page and preview this once more. So as you can see, we have it aligned in the middle or the center of our page. Now let's continue with the rest of the pages. I'm going to come back to my site manager and I'm going to create a page for that is about page. Let me just duplicate my index page, duplicate it one more time. So uh, I'm going to duplicate it one more time. So this is going to the about section. So uh, let me right click on this and rename this to about. I'll go ahead and rename this to services. Let me just uh, rename this one to services. And rename this to contact. Now come to the about, get rid of this carousel here. I'll move this a little bit to the top. Come to my toolbox. Let me just look for a layer. Just look for a layer here. I'll click on the layer, 
structure and an empty space on the canvas i'm going to change the size of this to 970 by let me make this 80 pixels let me go ahead and move this a little bit to head to the bottom edge of this particular layer i'm going to change the color of this layer it should be default let me just check relative horizontal size and set the alignment to center and i'm going to change the color of it to some black so let me just select this black i have here i'll go ahead and hit on ok i'm going to bring in some test here so this is going to be about as or about let me highlight over this let me change the case for the test so i highlight over this and let me change the size to about 24 so i'm going to make this 24 pixels highlight over it and set the color to white and make sure i position it in the center that is aligned to the center i'll go ahead and uh, make sure this is positioned in the center of my layer horizontally now let me copy this using ctrl c and come to my services page get rid of the carousel and then using ctrl shift b uh, v let me just paste that here let me move this a little bit to hit this i'll double click on this and i'm going to change this to services now let me expand this layer a bit come to my toolbox and i'm going to look for the youtube tool so i'm going to draw here just to create some space um, to be able to make this page scrollable so i'm going to right click on this make sure it is centered double click on this and uncheck auto play so that it doesn't start playing data i load the page i'm going to copy this and let me just do same at the about section so let me expand this let me paste that in here let me expand this once more so that i can position this inside here i'm going to highlight over everything here using ctrl a copy it come to the content page delete everything here and then paste using ctrl shift v so i have everything here let me just change this to contact so i have my pages set let me come to my site manager and let me move this to the very bottom so let me right click on this so that it doesn't get published so that is my master page now what i'm going to do next is to set my event on my master page so i'm going to come here and i'm going to start with a layer so i'm going to look for a layer i click on this draw here and the size is going to be 430 by 220 so that is going to be the size of it and i'm going to double click on this and set some kind of shadow so i'm going to come to shadow and i'm going to make the blur about four pixels i'm going to change the color to this gray here i'm not going to set anything to the x axis or to the y offset this is going to make the shadow move to a certain position i don't want that i want the shadow to be applied to every part of or every side of my shape or my layer i have in here i'll go ahead and hit on ok and as you can see we have our shadow here what i'm going to do next is to set some test to this so i'm come to my toolbox and i'll look for the test to so i'll draw here and i'll populate this with about let me just come to my lorem ipsum and i'm going to set this with about 50 uh, this is too much let me just reduce this a bit so let me reduce it to this level let me move it a little bit here and i'll come back to my toolbox i'm going to add an image this time so i'll come to image and i'm going to browse to select the image i'll be using so i'll go ahead and open the image and let me just reduce the size of this a bit so let me shrink the size of this i think this should be okay let me move it in here let me go ahead and shrink it once more and here we go so let me put that in here expand this a little bit hold it on the shift key select both and position it in the middle of this um, that is horizontally of this particular layer i have in here let me move it a little bit to the bottom now i'm going to come back to my t-box in the toolbox i'm going to look for material icon so let me just search for material icon i'll draw in here let me double click on this and select clear so i'm going to select clear let me just go to c section and scroll and look for clear so clear should be somewhere here. okay so here you go this is clear i'll go ahead and hit on okay and i'm going to change the size of this to 25 by 25 pixels 
so let me just go ahead and uh, do this there's a move let me highlight on the two move them a little bit to the bottom this should be okay now let me move this to align to the left um the right hand side of this particular object that is the test object i have in here now go ahead and um, duplicate this three more times so i'm going to use ctrl c to copy now before i do that let me move this a little bit here paste the first one the second one and the last one so i have that in here now what i'm going to do next is to put all this in a certain layer so i'm going to come back to my toolbox and I'm going to look for layer. So let me just draw here. Change the width of this to 970 pixels. Let me move it here. Double click on it and um, go to the style section. Set the background to transparent. Come to general and set the alignment to center. I'll enable relative horizontal size and I'll go ahead and hit on OK. So I'm going to move this layer to the back. All right, click on it and select move to back. Let me just move the content placeholder also to back so that this comes in front of the content placeholder. I'm going to select these layers I have in here. And, uh, let me just make sure I have all selected. Let me just do them one by one. So I'm going to start with this one. Let me position that here and uh, let me just change the name of this. So I'm going to make this home. This is going to be about this is going to be remove this here this is going to be services and this is going to be contact so let me make sure i have done that correctly so this should be about right now what I'm going to do next is to move this to this particular position, making sure it is aligned to the right hand side of this particular button. I'm going to go ahead and set an event. So I'm going to double click on this, come to the event section. Now hit on add. The event I'm going to set is when I click on this close, it should hide this particular layer. So um, the event is going to be on click and then the action is going to be hide with effect so hide with effect and the layer is going to be contact so i'll go ahead and change this to fade and then i'll set the length to zero i'll go ahead and hit on okay hit on okay now I'll click on this layer and go ahead and hide it now I'll come to this particular layer that is the services i'll make sure it is aligned to this particular button to the right hand side and aligned to the top of these layers i have in here I'm going to repeat the process for this so i'm going to set an event come to the event hit on add and then i'm going to change this to that is hide with effect so this is going to be the services and i'll change this to fade and this is going to be zero i'll go ahead and hit on ok hit on ok and hide this layer as well i'm going to i'm going to repeat the process for this layer so Double click on this, come to the event section, hit on add. This is going to be hide with effect. And this is going to be, that is the about. So I'll go ahead and change this to fade. And this is going to be zero. I'll go ahead and hit on OK. Hit on OK and go ahead and hide this layer I have in here. Now I'm going to move this to this particular position. Let me make sure it is aligned to the top. I enable and I'm just bring this. Okay, that's right. Let me hide this. I'm going to double click on this, come to event, and then hit on add. This is also going to be hide with effect. I'm going to select the home. This is going to be fade, and this is going to be zero. I'll go ahead and hit on OK, hit on OK. Now let me go ahead and hide this layer here. Now I'm supposed to set event to these buttons I have here so that when I Hover over this, it shows the respective layers, which contains the independent information. Now I'm going to go ahead and double click on this particular button. I'll come to events and I'm going to hit on add. So I'm going to create a series of events over here. So start with the first one, 
instead of on click this time around it's going to be on mouse over so when i hover over it that is what the mouse over is going to do for me so this is going to be show it effect what do i want to show i want to show the home layer how should it appear i want it to be fade uh, it should fade in and then the length is going to be zero pixels now with the same button when i hover over that same button i don't want the other layers should show um, in case they are already showing i don't want a situation but when i hover over the home they also still show so what i'm going to do is i'm going to hide those layers so on mouse over again that is on mouse over this is going to be hide with effect i'm going to start with the contact this is going to be fade this is going to be zero i'll hit on ok another one which is going to be on mouse over again this is also going to be hide with effect this is going to be that is um the about this is going to be fade and this is going to be zero i'll go ahead and hit on ok and i'll add the last one so on mouse over this is going to be hide with effect and this is going to be for the services this is going to be fade and this is going to be zero i'll go ahead and hit on ok now i'm supposed to repeat this process for these three buttons what i'm going to do is to just copy this event i've set over here and apply them and then make some changes to um the one which is supposed to show and the one which is supposed to hide i'll go ahead and hit on ok now come to this event um, this button come to event and then paste the event i copied so this time around i'm on the about button so i'll double click on this and change this from home to about i'll go ahead and hit on ok and change this from about to home so what's happening here is when i hover hover over this particular button the about section or the about layer should show and the home should hide so i'll go ahead and hit on ok before i hit on ok let me just copy this hit on ok and then paste it for this particular button so i'll go to the event section paste it here and change this to services and then i'm going to hit on ok and change this to about um no instead of this this is going to be changed to about i'll go ahead and hit on ok hit on ok now i'm going to repeat the process um, for this let me come to event and then paste them i'm going to change this to contact hit on ok and then i'm going to change this to about i'll go ahead and hit on ok hit on ok now now let's come to our index page and preview this and see how it's going to look like in our browser so i'll go ahead and hit on preview so we have it loaded in our browser so as you can see when i hover over this it shows this when i come to this it hides the home and then shows the about now when i hover over the services the same thing happens and then when i hover over the contact the same thing happens now you can go ahead and change the information and the layers so if you come to the services you might want to have something different over here the same as the about the same as um for the home now there's an issue when i scroll you realize the layer showing also scrolls and it actually even goes behind this particular layer i don't want that case or that situation to happen so what i'm going to do is to come back to my project and then i'll come to my master page so i'm going to double click on the layer which i have all the layers in here and what i'm going to do is i'm going to change this from default mode to docking mode i'll set this to the top and i'll go ahead and hit on ok now i'm going to expand this a little bit to the top so let me expand this a little bit to the top to about this position i think this is okay now let's preview this page again that is our project again so let's wait as our project is being previewed in a browser so as you can see here we go now i'm going to hover over it again and i'm going to scroll so as you can see when i scroll it still stays there because of the help of the docking layer we brought in into our project now we are supposed to link this particular buttons to its respective pages so i'm going to go ahead and then do that so i'll come to my master page starting with the home button i'm going to link this to the home page link the about to the about page 
I'm going to link the services to the services page. Let me just select the services page. Uh, let me just uh, select the services page. And then do same for the contacts. So I'm going to link this to the contacts page. I'll go ahead and hit on OK. Now I'm going to go ahead and publish my project. So let me just publish it to this particular location. And then when it's done, I'm going to preview it again in my browser to see and make sure that everything is working perfectly well. So let's hold on a while as it publishes the pages. So that is it. Let me open my browser and then I'm going to go to localhost slash nav so that I open my project. So here we go. I'm going to hover over this. I get my layer showing well. When I scroll, it still stays there. Now I'm going to go to the about page. So this is the about page. And because I'm still, I have my cursor over this button, it still shows the about, um, that is this particular layer for me. Now to make sure that you are having, um, that is a respective layer showing the, um, it's rightful information under the selected or hovered uh, buttons, you're supposed to bring some kind of heading so that it shows that if I'm on the home button, it shows at the top here, maybe home. I'm the, on the about button, it shows on top. This is the about section and the information contained in the about section. So that is it for this particular tutorial. Thank you very much for sticking around. Bye for now.